Hey y'all, my name is Ashley, and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. So if you would like to sit down, have a snack, get ready for your day, or just listen to me dump my thoughts on you, then continue watching. All right, so I have like a crap ton of products in front of me, and I did like a little bit of Google to see what's actually still available to purchase, and some of it's not. But I figured this is just like a get ready with, get ready with me. I, I'm gonna try to use products that you can still purchase, but it is gonna be like a 420 themed get ready with me, minus the fact that I will not be getting elevated. I pick up my kid in a few hours and I'm just not going to, okay? So it's not something I'm gonna do on camera and it's not something I'm gonna do for a video. So I'm not that kind of person. But I have a couple of these About Face Fluid Eye Paints, uh, both in the shade green. I have a couple of the Suvia liner palettes that have greens in them, along with just an individual liner that's green, um, along with three different Melt Cosmetics palettes that are all for, ooh, that would have been so bad. 420 theme. So I got Smoke Sessions, I've got the 420 palette, and I've got the Mary Jane palette, which this is the one that I don't believe you can purchase anymore, so I'm going to try not to use it. Um, I also have Trixie Cosmetics Plant Gay palette, which unfortunately you can't buy this one either, so I will try not to reach into that one. I know that one's not 420 theme, but it's like mostly green, and it says plant. So, and I believe this came out around the date of 420 at some point. So, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, lots of greens. And you're probably wondering, hey, like you've got all this 420 makeup. Why didn't you pick up any of the new stuff? So, they, I, I want the new Melt Cosmetics like Magic Mush Palette, but I didn't want it enough to buy it right now. And then along with like the Trixie Cosmetics Extravaganza Palette, I really wanted that one as well, but like the lip oil and stuff or the green lip gloss sold out. And so I'm just, I'm also not trying to buy everything that comes out right now. So I'm gonna play with what I've got and that is how I'm gonna do today's video. So like these About Face Fluid Eye Paints, you can still pick up and buy. I have a Melt Gel Liner here in a green shade that you can still buy. Like I still have stuff in front of me that is still purchasable. So let's go ahead, zoom in, and get into some eyes. Oh gosh, so I am wearing my uh, my my Wiz Khalifa <laughs> t-shirt. So I got to see Wiz Khalifa and Logic in concert, I think it was like last August. Yeah, last August. And um, it's not a shirt I get to wear very often because I'm with my kids and I don't find it appropriate that I wear a big pot plant on my chest when I'm out and about with my children or picking them up from school. So, I mean, everyone can do whatever they want. Like, I, I, I do partake in the action of 420, but I just, like, I don't feel the need to advertise it to everybody. Um, I live in the state of Texas, so it's not legal. That's easy as that. I'm going to prime my eyes with Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base in the shade Fair. I feel like I go through these like they're water. Like I need to re-up again. So this is also the product that I use to carve out my brows, which is probably why I go through them so quickly because my brows is something that I do on a daily basis. So like, even if I'm not wearing a full face of makeup, I always have my brows on. But yeah, I thought about picking up the Magic Mush palette. Um, It's something that I'd rather get on <laughs> sale. I'd rather not pay full price. And I know right now like Melt Cosmetics is doing like a 30% sale because it's that time of year. It's Sephora sale. So during the Sephora sale, not only is Sephora doing their like 20%, 15%, 10% sale depending on your tier, you also have all the brands that even if they're sold in Sephora are competing with Sephora and doing their own sales. So I mean it, it makes sense, right? So I know that everything on Melt Cosmetics is 30% off. And I just don't want to buy it. I have so much and the last few weeks, I say this as I'm going to film a makeup haul later. <laughs> I, I'm trying to only buy what I really, really want. Um, and there's nothing wrong with playing with makeup. That's not new. And I think 
I need to get into the habit of playing with stuff that's in my collection that's not brand spanking new. I think we all need to do a little bit of that, honestly. And it's not about like, oh, we'll save the planet and stuff like that. Like, I'm not, um, don't wanna put this the wrong way. I'm not like some hippie that's like, we gotta save everything. Um, but it's just like, even if you collect and hoard it, like that's your business. Like you, you spend your money on what you wanna spend your money on. Use it, don't use it. Like it doesn't hurt my feelings, but like, I personally wanna make a habit of using more of the stuff that I don't touch as often, just because it does bring me joy when I play with those things. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Probably not. All right, so what I want to go ahead and do is start off with one of these fluid eye paints. This is in the shade, okay. I know I'm aging, but I cannot read that. This is in the shade Smoke Signal. So this is dark matte green. I know About Face came out with like the shimmery ones. I don't have any and I really would, actually I, I lie, I do have a couple of them, but it was before they changed their packaging to this one. I have them in like the foil packs. But um, I just haven't picked any up yet. I really do like About Face, even though nobody ever talks about them. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this in my outer corner and then blend it with a brush. So I really like that color. I mean, it's green. But yeah, so that's why I didn't purchase anything new. Um, I, I am tempted to force myself to do a no buy in May and just see what happens. I don't know. Like, I do like to shop, okay? Shopping's one of those things that I really enjoy doing. I like buying little things that kind of bring joy to me. I know some people are like, oh, that's materialistic and stuff like that. I'm like, I don't, I don't care. But um, I wanna try like a no buy, unless it's like a thing I need, like like eye primer <laughs> or a brow pencil, even though I should be really good on brow pencils because I did stock up on Huda Beauty brow pencils over the holidays, which is my usual go-to. But recently I tried this one from One Size, which, like, I know, like, One Size right now has a lot of hype behind it because they came out with, like, this new primer. It's supposed to be, like, sweatproof and stuff. And then, like, apparently, the, like, their blush trios are really good. Um, I like the spray that you spray on your face and your makeup melts off. I use that a lot, and I have backups of that because that product is amazing. Especially if you really want to get your makeup off, makeup off quickly. You're tired. You just want to go to bed. Just spray your face. Wipe your face. You're good. But I have the Brow Kiki micro brow defining pencil and I actually really like it. I am really picky with my brow pencils because I want like the smallest point possible. This is a very small point. Not as small as the Huda Booty one, but pretty damn close. So I've been using that um, and I actually really like it. I was very surprised. And I have no idea what I'm trying to go for today. I'm just like, I'm gonna pull out all the greens and that is what I'm doing. So now I've got to figure out what I want to do next. I think I'm going to have to blend out this fluid paint with like a lighter green so it's not so harsh. And then with my eyebrows being green, it's just a lot of green, a lot of monochromatic going on right now. But apparently monochromatic looks are on trend. I don't know, it's something I sell on Twitter. It was like 15 trends in makeup. And then I'm like nosy and I read it because I spend way too much time on Twitter and I'm nosy. So apparently monochromatic looks are in, but I think they mean that with your blush and oh, I'm not doing green blush. <laughs> like I love green, not that much. Okay, I'm not trying to be Beetlejuice. Let me know in October, I'll do green blush then. Man, I forgot this entire palette is mostly shimmers. I need like a lighter green. Like the one matte green in here is the same color that I basically just laid down. It's the shade Space Queen. It is pretty identical to this. So this one is the 420 palette, and this one is still available on Melt's website. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take this shotgun shade right here. It's like a chartreuse green, and kind of lightly buff out that with that. Like, I feel like that would be super, super pretty. Ooh, I lie, I'm gonna actually do it with the shade Faded. So Faded is just a little bit deeper. So it's this shade right here. Okay, that wasn't fully the vibe I was going for. It's okay, like it kind of looks like, a yellowing bruise on my face. Oops, that's not what I was going for, obviously. I might have to add some bolder greens. So obviously you are seeing this video on 420 because that's when I plan on posting it. Today is not 420, today is 418, okay? Because I like to film my videos like three in one day type thing or two in one day at minimum just because I have other responsibilities that I need to take care of in my life. 
but by the time you see this video, I'll have like my Sephora favorites. It's not really a favorites video. It's more of like a Sephora unpopular products that I personally recommend during the Sephora sale. Even if you're getting them at 20, 15, 10% off, I think they're totally worth the money. Um, so I'll go ahead and link that video. Originally, I was not going to do that. And I say that because like everybody does like their Sephora recommendations and you do see like a lot of the products. So I was watching a few of these videos and I realized that I don't have the same opinion as a lot of these people, which is fine. But I figured it'd be nice for other people who want to see different items. I'm taking that same, uh, I'm actually taking the brighter shade shotgun and I'm gonna bring it down on my crease. And if I don't like it, then I'll use a uh, eye primer to erase it, but I'm gonna try it. I saw a lot of people sharing their favorite and their recommendations, and a lot of the products are brand new products out. So my recommendations are a little bit different. Um, there is a product or two that might be newer, as in it came out within the last 12 months, but there's also products on there that are older and nobody really talks about it anymore or even talked about it in the first place. And I thought it'd be interesting to suggest something different from what everyone else is. So if you're interested and you're looking for some things that you want to pick up at the Sephora sale, but you don't want to get and you just want to treat yourself, check out that video um, and let me know what you, like your recommendations would be. I like the way my eyes look, but then I don't like the way my eyes look. And I say I like the way that, cause I love how it just like blended out so nicely and I kind of like the colors together. But the reason I don't like it is because I was intending on doing something a little bit more like bolder, like more, not neon, but just a little bit more vibrant is what I was gonna go for. But I, I, I kind of like what I've done and I'm gonna kind of stick with it. But I am gonna go ahead and like cut the crease and I'm trying to decide if I wanna cut the crease with this fully or if I just want this down like the center and then do something else on the inner corner. Like it's completely torn. I am gonna put a little bit of this on the center and see how that goes. I'm just gonna go like that and take that same brush that I blended out the darker green with because I'm gonna have to wash it after today because liquid product and kind of just use that to blend that in and see how I like it. Oh, I do like that. So that kind of does go with like that mustard toned yellow. That's what I was worried about because I really wanted to play with, this is the shade Vertigo Flowers. I wanted to play with this like brighter green but it definitely like still matches. Okay, I'm actually really liking this. I am gonna take a little bit more of the darker one smoke signal just to deepen out the outer corner a little bit. But so over the weekend, I went to, um, if y'all, I, mean, like, I don't need people to go over there and follow me on Instagram, but like if you are on my Instagram, you saw it. I went to the Astros game, which is like the first game we've gone to for the season. I had a lot of fun. Um, at some point during the night, I, and I think I know what did it because I was trying to be like bold and creative and playing with blues and oranges. I put glitter on my eyelid that's not like labeled as eye safe glitter. And I put it on like the center of my eye and I was like, oh look how cute, it's orange, it matches, Astros, blue, orange, like it all goes together. And I cut my eye, like, and I have, I'm a contact wearer. So the glitter, it's rather the glitter or was like an eyelash or a piece of hair got between my contact lens and my eyeball and I had a scratch. So I was completely out all weekend, Saturday and Sunday, waiting for my eye to heal. So I'm still like really nervous. I'm putting makeup on my face because I'm like, what if it happens again? Like I can't deal with the pain of that. It's so painful when that happens. And it's obviously not the first time I ever cut my eyeball. I mean, if you wear contacts, it's happened to you once or twice. But it's just like so annoying because you it's your eyes like and like you need them like i need them and so i had to wear like glasses all weekend i could barely keep my eye open i was like opening it up and all this fluid would come out it was so gross but at the same time i'm like i think i'm just gonna keep my eyes matte today because i don't want to put glitter near my eyeballs um no if i put glitter or anything shimmery it's gonna say eye safe and that's probably gonna be me for like the next month i'm, I'm not willing to risk it I am actually gonna go ahead and cut the crease a little bit and I'm gonna use my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas because I don't know how to do any makeup without it. And I'm just gonna kinda cut the center part. I'm gonna clean up that line that's in my crease. So I'm gonna put something a little bit brighter there. And I'm gonna fast forward this bit because guess what? I need to concentrate. Okay. 
So I already just did the other eye because I'm going to just focus on this eye and then I'll hop off camera and do the other one. I am just like, it's the OCD man. I like have to have my line so perfect. So I have a, like, I have to get really close to the mirror and like concentrate because I don't, I, I like things to be perfect, which is something I wish I could let go of, but I can't. I want to see if this is still available on ColourPop's website before I use it. Because I know sometimes in their sale section they'll have like previous collections. Of course not. It's not, but the palette is. Um, man, I really wanted to play with this uh, Jelly Mutt Shadow from the Hocus Pocus 2 collection. It's I Am Calm. It's like, um, like a white... Oh, there's a lid. It's like this white iridescent shadow that's like super super pretty <sighs> okay i know that this is not a 420 related product but this is actually currently in stock at sephora so that's why i feel okay using it and this is like the danessa myricks light work palette uh volume four and I'm going to play with the shade escapism i think no i'm actually going to go ahead and play with the shade six cents and I'm going to use that to blend in with that, that lighter green. Um, I know this palette was out of stock for a while. And I did a full video on this palette. And my thoughts really haven't changed. Like, I really like these, these duochrome shades. And I like how the, like, the velvets, I think they're called. What does she call them? Like, duochrome velvets or something like that. Like, those shades are gorgeous. And they make the palette worth the money. But that center row is just so Fucking terrible. My thoughts have not changed at all. I can't stand that center row. Like if they just like got rid of that and made the palette a little bit cheaper, I'd have been so happy. But I'm just going to apply this going towards the center of my eyelid. But I think I'm going to do something else in the inner corner and that's when I'll stop adding shades. Okay, this is where I am going to use that Jelly Mutt Shadow because it is so pretty. And I need to use it before it like dries up. And I really never used Jelly Mutt Shadows before I purchased this collection, and I really do like the formula. Um, I mean, it's a white iridescent with green reflect. I mean, I'm sure there's other ones out there. I feel terrible using a product that you can't purchase anymore. But at the same time, like, I want to use pieces of my collection. So I'm going to go ahead and, and use it. And then if you hate me, just let me know in the comments. So I'm going to put that in my inner corner, blending it in with that duochrome. I'm, like, I'm not going to put glitter on my eye. I'm doing it anyway. Oh no, these are Jelly Much eyeshadows. So, nope, it's shadow. Oh well, we'll see how it goes. Man, I was just raving about this formula and now there's like a big chunk of it stuck on my eyelid and not blending out. That's great. That is what I'm going for. Okay. So I'm going to go add some liner, do the other eye. I'm going to put my foundation on and then I will come back and do like blush, highlighter, like the fun things. Like I, I don't, I feel like for foundation, like it's just like the same. I don't think it's that fun. So I'll be back with foundation on. So I got my base on. I want to go ahead and do like the under eye real quick. And I am going to have to dip into this Mary Jane palette. This one was like the one that came in like the crystal box. Like I actually have like the where you could buy the PR boxes for these because I just like the boxes. But um, like that's what this one looks like. Oh shit, I thought there was a black in here. It's really hoping for a black so I can just like kind of smoke out here and then add green in the inner corner. But I'm gonna have a hard time doing that without a black. And I'm already sitting down, so I'm not going to stand up and go get a black out of a different palette. Damn it, none of these palettes are black. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get into Smoke Sessions. And I'm going to get into the shade Space Queen. So it's this really dark green right here. And I'm going to use that to smoke my under eye. Okay, I'm actually really pleased on how this turned out. Even though I kind of wanted it a little bit more vibrant, my like center bit of my eye is pretty vibrant. So I can't really complain too much. Gosh, so like another thing, I don't want to like rant and complain. So you got everyone making their like Sephora recommendations videos and like I made one so I can't like too badly like rant and rave on that. Man, the other thing is, is like this whole Coachella thing. <laughs> like, and I get it, a lot of people live like out in LA and stuff and it's like festival season and I've gone to music festivals. I enjoy a good music festival, but it's not... Like, every music festival I've been to, I'm like, yeah, it's EDM. I don't know shit all going on. 
but I'm here to enjoy myself, right? I, um, I don't listen to like that poppy music. So like, I don't understand the big deal with Coachella. Like, I really don't. I also, I kind of get why people are excited about Taylor Swift and while everyone's going to go see her on this Eras tour. Like, I get that because like, I have my own bands that make me feel that way and get me excited about going. But an entire ass music festival that costs that much money, man, in the desert, mm. I don't see the big deal. We see everyone talking about it. I'm like, okay, whatever. Something that's never going to be on my to-do list. Okay, I am gonna dip into my Plant Gay palette and I'm gonna use the shade Greenhouse, which is this very vibrant green, and use that to just do the rest of my under eye. And just blend it with that other green because I want, obviously, the center, the inner corner bright. Now, whatever highlighter I take, I'm going to just pop it in the center of my eye. And I'll add lashes eventually. Uh, I mean, I kind of like how it looks without lashes, but I have like the world's worst lashes. I don't know if it's because I've been wearing false lashes since I was in high school or what. But my lashes suck. Like my actual natural lashes. So to find mascaras that work for me, and there's like two that I live by now. I, there's like five or six that I've ever found that I've actually loved when it came to mascara. And of course like the mascaras I like is like very unpopular opinion. Um, but still, like I'm still like, oh, I'm gonna add like an Ardell Wispy if I wanna go for like a natural lash look because my natural lashes don't do shit. All right, so for blush, um, you're gonna see me haul these later, but I wanna just play with them so bad. I picked up, I have both of them. I have these two Blend Bunny Cosmetics blush palettes. So this one is the Bare Cheeks face palette. And this one's supposed to be like a little bit more neutral, not as like bold up in, and in your face. So this one looks like this it's so pretty this might be the one i play with today because i think i'm gonna put a red lip with this and then with my eyes being green red and green usually clashing colors i don't care i like the way it looks um so i'll probably go with a neutral blush usually i'd go with a vivid blush like that's in here look at those those are this is like perfect for the summer these like orangey tones are screaming my name yeah, I'm gonna definitely do a neutral blush today. All right, I need a little bit of bronzer. I've only contoured my face. Um, contour's boring, you know? So, but for contour, I'm gonna use the LYS No Limits Matte Bronzer, and this is in the shade Harmony. So it's like medium. But I'm gonna go ahead and just put some on my forehead, which will probably just be covered up by my hair. Cause like, I like my bangs somewhat in my face. I feel like if my hair's all the way pulled back, I look weird and that I have to have like some type of something to frame my face. But I'm still gonna bronze the top of my forehead even though my hair is gonna cover it up. Like, I need to go get my hair done. I have been so lazy about getting my hair done. It's not even funny. The last time I got my hair done was after the holidays. I wanna say I got my hair dyed in January. And I've always dyed my hair myself. And then when it came to dyeing my hair green, it was not something that I could do on my own because it was like bleaching and bleaching scares the shit out of me. So like, I was like, nope, we're not doing this. So, but I haven't been since January. And right now, like things, like they don't appear that bad because I have been using the Lime Crime Unicorn hair, like as roots. I could just put it on my roots, let it sit for an hour, wash my hair out in some magical way, even though it is darker than the rest of my hair, it kind of just blends my roots into my green. And it, it's been doing, it's been working so far, but I honestly don't know how much longer I can get away with this. <laughs> because I go through like one whole pot a month, like half a pot each time I add it to my hair, but doing it every two weeks. And it's like $16, it's not that much, but it, it's a little time consuming. Not as time consuming as sitting down and getting my hair done. That's like an all day event for me. But if you dye your hair a funky color, Lime Crime Unicorn Hair has like massive color selection and it does work. It's temporary. So when you wash your hair, most of it comes out, which is why I have to do it like every two weeks. Um, it does work. All right, got my bronzer on. So now I wanna go ahead and get into this Bare Cheeks palette. 
So I think what I want to do is go in with the shade Making Me Blush. So it's this shade right here. This is kind of like a first impressions, but I think I want to do a whole dedicated video for these palettes because these are the first face palettes that Blend Bunny's ever come out with. And I have, I think, majority of the eyeshadow palettes from them. They came out with a couple small ones that I didn't pick up, but I did get, I do have a lot of them. But I got these because I love the colors on both of them and I love a good blush palette that's got a variety of shades in it. So, which both of these palettes do and they're not too pricey. So I'm gonna go with Making Me Blush. Oh, I love that. That is such a pretty shade. I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of apply this everywhere where I want. Every, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't get my words out. Everywhere I want. And then to kind of like deepen the blush, I'm gonna use that shade that's just a little bit darker than this called In Charge. I'm gonna just apply it here and blend it out into the other shade. Gosh, blush is just truly one of my favorite products, though. Like, I thoroughly enjoy adding... It, like, the difference of adding blush to your face is huge. Like, it just... I don't know. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to take the deeper one here in charge, put a little bit on the brush, and I'm only just going to apply it here and then kind of buff it out. Adds depth to the blush, if that makes sense, and then kind of just... The other shade kind of softens it and then melts it into the face. Just realized I forgot to wipe the foundation off my lips. It's great. I hate that look. Wasn't that like a trend back in like 2008 to use your foundation or concealer as like a lip product? So I had a hard time figuring out which highlighter I wanted to use. I'm actually going to use this Ofra highlighter in the shade Glazed Donut. And it's like almost white, but like slightly gold. So it'd be kind of perfect. I find like with the white in the inner corner, I do need like a wider um, I feel like I need like a really light highlighter basically because I'm going to use that highlighter for my inner corner and then I might as well just pop it as my highlighter for my look but I feel like that would blend in with my eyes yeah that's definitely the look I was thinking about doing something gold but I feel like that white is what the eyes needed that really just tied every little bit of that look together I think I've talked about this before on how I like to use a bigger brush for highlight and then like dust it off and then like just powder it on like that, like just lightly tapping it into the skin and not like smushing it around. I don't know, I feel like it looks really nice on the face. I know a lot of people like a more precise highlighting brush, but I feel like it just makes it look a little bit more, not like skin-like, but just a little bit more soft and kind of just makes it look like it seamlessly blends with the skin. Now I'm looking in the camera and it's like super shiny. So it's a little bit too glowy. So I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush and just kind of do that. And we'll like dust away the extra shine. The last product I am going to dip into because I do not have any 420 themed lips that I can think of off the top of my head, but I'm gonna dip into like my absolute favorite red, which is the Patrick Ta That's Why She's Late. This lipstick is absolutely gorgeous. Like this color. So I'm gonna quickly apply this. I cannot talk while I apply lip liner, so be right back again. All right, so I went ahead and added my little red lippy. I added some lashes, and I just used like the Ardell Demi Wispies because I felt like just something little was good enough. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. I really wanna try to do more get ready with me's and play with like makeup that isn't new um and just kind of like chit chat but i kind of just want to get more comfortable talking about just like other things besides like the products themselves so this is the way i'm going to do it but until next time bye y'all